Hello loves, my name is Anjali Cooper and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, go ahead and hit that little subscribe button. I do upload videos weekly. And if you guys have already been subscribed, go ahead and hit that little bell so you guys get a notification and don't miss an upload. Both of these will help me get more content out for you guys. But without further ado, let's move on to this video which is all about hair extensions. So today I'm gonna share with you guys some tips to finding the perfect clip-in extensions and also do like a first impressions video. I got some new clip-in extensions and I haven't put them in yet, so I'm gonna do that in this video so you guys can see how they look and I can also see how they look because I haven't even put them in yet. They are currently not in right now. This is my natural hair light. I actually just got my hair done like a couple days ago at the Beaumain Hair Salon in Beverly Hills. And I'm not gonna lie, I had an amazing experience. I am normally really picky with who does my hair. I'm always nervous to try new people, which is why I normally fly to Utah to get my hair done by the gal that's been doing my hair for like four years. I went to Beaumain Hair Salon and a gal named Ashley colored my hair. She did an amazing job. And right before I went to Hawaii, I dyed my hair really blonde because I wanted like blonde, beachy hair. But what that caused was like a a defined root line when it grew out so when I went in she actually pulled my natural color back through my ends as well as like blended and softened out that line and she did an amazing an amazing job and then I got my hair cut and styled by another gal named Drea who is actually the co-founder of the Beaumain salon and she is so sweet and she was not scissor happy she just took off the bare minimum just basically cleaned up my hair the color and the cut both complement my face shape and the tone of my skin I'm very pleased which is very rare with my hair I'm so picky when it comes to it all natural and blended but the reason I shared all that with you is new hair color means new clipping extensions. My color hasn't matched my extensions in a really long time and since I just got my hair recolored I thought it'd be the perfect time to go get my hair matched to new extensions so I headed over to the hair shop over in West Hollywood and picked up some new goodies. I picked up some clip-in extensions, ponytail, some shampoo, some goodies for my extensions to take care of them. But before I share with you guys my new clip-in extensions and actually try them on I'm going to share a few tips to finding the perfect clip-in extensions for you. Number one, always buy 100% human hair. You wanna be able to wash it, style it, brush it. You basically want it to blend perfectly with your hair and you won't be able to do that if it's not 100% human hair. The second tip, which I think is the most important, is you want to color match. You actually wanna go in and actually have them personally match it to your hair. You wanna hold up a few different ones. Sometimes they vary, so you wanna find the one that matches your hair perfectly. So that way it looks more natural because that is the goal <laughs> to extensions. You don't want anybody to tell that you have extensions. In. Tip number three is pay attention to the track. There are different options depending on what type of hair you have. Now you might be wondering, what is a track? The track is at the top of the extension. It's where the hair is actually sewn into, which is called the track. And there are different options depending on the hair type that you have. When I was at the hair shop, they actually showed me their six piece clip-in extension, which is a very different track than like the classic ones that you might be used to seeing. It was very interesting. It's meant for people with really thin hair and it almost looked like it was a piece of tape with the hair sewn into it. So that way it would lay really flat on your scalp and blend in with your hair. So that way the track wouldn't like pop out and you would see it, which is a great option for really thin hair. I have really thick hair in the back. I've never had a problem with the track ever really showing, so I just opted for the normal one. But no, there are options if you do have really thin hair. You don't have to have the type that actually will pop out and give your hair extensions away. You don't want that. You don't want somebody to go, hey, your track is showing, your weave is popping out. Not a good look. <laughs> Tip number four, picking your length. Now, know what you want when you go in to buy hair extensions. Some people want length, so that way they have really long hair, and some people want to just actually make their hair thicker. I went through a phase that I actually just put clip-in extensions whenever I would straighten or curl my hair, that they were actually the same length as my hair. I was doing that because my ends were not in good shape, they were breaking off, they were really thin, and I actually just wanted my hair to look thicker and healthier. So right now my hair is actually in really, really like decent health, which is surprising, and I'm very thankful because my hair is super dry and always breaking off. So this time when I got extensions, I actually picked up a 20 inch extension, which is the longest I've ever had. I also wanted the length so that way if I brought them into a stylist, they could actually cut them and like make them perfect for like my hair. Um, and by having the 20 inches, I can do that. So just know what type of length that you want when you go in there and that would work perfect with your hair. Cause sometimes if you have too short of hair and you get too long of hair, it'll stick out and you don't want that. You want to make sure you have a length that'll blend with your hair. The final tip is price. I know clip and extensions 
extensions and any type of extensions can be kind of pricey especially if you're getting really nice ones but what I recommend is not getting cheap ones you really don't want extensions that aren't 100% human hair only because when they're fake hair it starts to look shiny can look really fake and you don't really want to give that away that you have extensions in so do your research and really find out what extensions you want so I recommend saving up and getting the extensions that you want that will look really nice in your hair now for first impressions now we get to actually put in the hair extensions and I'm so excited because I haven't done that yet and we're gonna do it on camera so you guys can see exactly how they look right out of the box and hopefully you like them <laughs> Okay, so I picked up two different kinds. I got the seven piece, 20 inch clip-in body wave extensions, and I got a fake ponytail, which I'm really excited about for traveling because I can just put my hair up, put it in the ponytail, and voila, my hair is done. The beauty of extensions. Now, I haven't tried any of these on. I was color matched when I was in there, which is awesome. So these literally are the same color as my hair, and we're gonna put in the ponytail first. Where's my hair elastic? Now these have not been styled or like curled or anything like that. So you're literally just gonna see them like straight out of the box into my hair. All right, ponytail time. Probably should have grabbed a brush. I was always wondering how people were having like perfectly beautiful, like wonderful ponytails, so voluptuous and long and now I know. Tight elastic, okay. Woo. All right, there's my ponytail, all natural and short when it's that high up. As you can see, it kind of just like unfolds and there's a clip here with Velcro and a piece that you wrap around. So, just jam that underneath your elastic and then you're just gonna wrap the Velcro piece around your ponytail, like so. And then you're just gonna connect the other Velcro piece underneath and then you're just going to wrap this extra piece of hair around the ponytail. Just gonna secure it with a bobby pin. We're almost done. We almost have the perfect ponytail. And there you go. There is my new ponytail. You guys saw the before and this is the after. A big difference. Wow. That's crazy so long oh imagine like a big curly ponytail oh i can't wait to make videos on this and show you guys how i style it how amazing is that like i instantly have a perfect ponytail long and it's like a horse tail it's awesome how fun okay now i'm going to take this out and we're going to put in the long extensions and unvelcro it you have a perfect ponytail <laughs> that was so simple now for the seven piece clip in extensions. I have a handy dandy clip here. You're just going to section off your hair and I start at the base of the scalp. Unclip. I still have like four pieces right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and slip some of those in as well. And this is the last seventh piece. And I normally don't include all seven pieces. It depends on what type of look I'm doing. But for the purpose of this video, for to try them all, that's what we're gonna do. I also wanna show you guys how this one is sewn in. You can see how like it's the double track. This is them all clipped in. Huh. Again, these are not styled. These are straight out of the box, but you can already see that the color matches and that it does blend in with my hair quite easily. So many new hair tutorials coming with extensions. I'm very, very excited. I want you guys to know that I am currently sitting on a pillow so that way all 20 inches of my clip and extensions can be in this video. <laughs> Well loves, that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so I know you guys did enjoy it. And if you guys have any questions at all regarding clip and extensions, please feel free to ask down below. And if you guys have any hair extension video requests like certain styles or how to style them or how to take care of them, please let me know in the comments. I would love to know what type of videos you guys would like to see with them because there are tons coming with lots of hair in them. But that is it. That is my hair extension style. I love you guys. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you guys soon. Bye!